Now, Megan, let's get to the big question. What are we getting wrong about DE&I? Uh, Glenn, that's such a good question. I think what we get wrong about DE&I is that we lead with diversity, right? And you said it yourself. We tend to solve for diversity. We're not solving for inclusion. And so I feel like it's really important that we not look at it like a check the box activity because I see that happen a lot. We have to sit in discomfort and just take a hot second, become educated, recognize our own privilege, right? Like as, as, a, as a white girl, <laughs> I need to recognize my own privilege. And then eventually, when we create that environment of inclusion where everybody feels seen, valued, and heard, diversity is gonna come naturally. So Megan, I mean, off question here, but uh, you are a leader of a diversity uh, resource group at I Banfield. Am. Which one is it? And tell us a little bit about that journey. Yeah, yeah. I'm the leader of uh, Women of Banfield, or WAB, as we like to affectionately call it. And um, it's interesting because our hashtag, our first hashtag was, we rise by lifting others. And we were meeting with, you know, all of our Women of Banfield um, community. And uh, we asked them, like, how, does that resonate with you? And they're like, well, actually... We look at women of Banfield like the Mary Kay of Banfield. And I was like, oh, oh my, <laughs> that is not what we're going for. And so uh, we landed on there's no wrong way to be a woman, um, nice. which I love, yeah. which I absolutely love. And I think the best part about our diversity group is that there's it encompasses everything. Right. And I think there's such power in our difference. Um, so I'm, I'm really proud to, to lead that group. 